<laughs> you ready? Okay. Yeah. You have, before, I, we just have to talk about it because I'm sure it, okay. a lot of people want to know, you have an interesting background. Just kind of tell me about your background in a nutshell. Um, okay. And, and where, what you've been up to like the last, whatever, year, and um, your relationship with Mr. Guccione, which is okay. really interesting. So go ahead. All right. Um, when I was 18, I was flown to New York to do some modeling and stuff. I had no idea that it was going to be penthouse. Mm -hmm. And uh, I ended up meeting Bob Guccione and staying in the mansion. And I uh, was a centerfold in 81 or 2, and I was pet of the year in 83. So I did five covers and lived there for about 10 years in Manhattan in his home. He had a mansion mm -hmm. on the east side and left that to pursue legit acting and did a couple of B movies and was in the industry for about 10 or 15 years and ended up having a child mm -hmm. at 30 and now I'm a single mom and I'm writing a book about my life. It's very cool. So yeah. why Big Brother? Um, I don't know why Big Brother. I answered an ad and it just seemed really interesting and fun and I was at a time in my life where I'm single and you know I'm raising a 16 year old boy and he'll be 17 in April and I'll be 46 in April. Thank you. It's, yeah, I, I work hard at trying to not look 46. So, but um, but basically I just you know I'm writing this book and I thought, wow, it would be kind of a great avenue to like do something like this and get this kind of exposure, yeah. and it, and it just it looks like such a fun show. Do you think being a mom is going to help, help you in the house? I think so. I mean, because I think that being a mom, especially a single mom, it's a really tough job. And I've probably been in every scenario there is having my son. Yeah. So, how yeah. You, how do you think you'll be labeled? You know, there's like the hot guy, the gay guy, the hot I mean, how do you think you're going to be labeled? By well, I hope, I hope, uh, you know, the single mom cougar, you know, so I don't know. <laughs> Oh, no. Scratch that. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Maybe cougar first and then single mom. I don't know. Are you ready for all the attention and exposure? Yes. Yes, I am. Because I've spent the last 10 years writing this whole autobiography about me. It's really not about Guccione. It's about my experience doing that. You know, doing the acting, doing the modeling, how I became a centerfold, and how afterwards I became an actress, and how everyone always was trying to get my clothes off when I would try to audition. And, and then having my son, it made me sort of pull back and go, you know what, this, this is better. I like my life better, and I'm going to write about that. You know, I don't condone it. I don't want someone to go out and see me and go, ooh, maybe I'll pose nude. Yeah. It's not what I want. And I just... I want to get my book out there, and I think it, this is amazing exposure to do that. What do you, um, and do you have any plans if you do win, which hopefully you'll win, but any plans with the money? Is it for your son, maybe? Or it is. Um, my son uh, has struggled with a disability. He had a condition with his eyes when he was born, with some nystagmus. And, um, you know, I've been a single mom, and there's been a lot of hospital bills. There's been a lot of therapy. And um, basically, you know, I've rented my whole life with my son. And I want a home. I want something that I can call my own. Whether I know in L.A. it's really expensive. But, um, you know, I'm thinking like a little small condo for my son and I and my dog. That's so, cool. and I, so we really need the money, you know. That's all I need. You're so 